Hey everybody, I am APH. Welcome to Timberborn. This game is so amazing, I'm having a hard time actually doing an intro for it. Absolutely astonished with the amount of effort that has gone into this game so far. Let's get started. We've got two factions, the Folktales and the Iron Teeth. Now the Iron Teeth are defectors of the traditional lumber ways. They've mastered iron and science to build advanced machinery. Now, as it does require us to actually get to level 8 with the folktales, we're going to start with them. Easy going but hard working, folktales are expert farmers. They respect nature, and it rewards them with plentiful bounty. Their motto, comfort, food, and sturdy wood. Now for the recommended map of planes, I actually tried this out in testing, so as a result I want something a little bit different. I'm thinking mountain range. It sounds a little bit maybe more challenging as well as a little bit more interesting. For the difficulty, we have easy, normal, hard, and custom. As I'm still new to this game, as well as the devs recommend normal, we're going to go with normal today. Let's get started. Now, as we're getting started in Beaver's roll out of our district hall, let's take a look at the map. And true to its name, it looks like we are on the top of a mountain. I am liking that. Looks like we got some metal off to the side, as well as it looks like a valley over here. Now, there's no water going through that valley, but try seeing it back. Ooh, there's a big cliff there. Now, does this side leads out of the map? Okay, that's interesting. So we're either expected to get water over here, because we see another valley right here, which doesn't have water in it. So we're either expected to connect those, or find a different way. Now the amount of fertile ground we have is very little by the looks of it. As even by the shore itself is very narrow all the way to the actual edge of the map. Do you have a couple of good metal spots? Now the actual starting spot we have very small amount of berries and very small amount of actual fertile ground for trees. This may be a little bit challenging. Looking at our river and knowing that eventually we're going to have droughts coming. We should probably plan for dams on this edge to maintain as much water as we can. But getting started, we need some, some food and we need some building supplies. So let's go ahead and place a path over to the berries. And let's plan on a path down here to this edge. And it looks like we're going to have to remove a couple of trees. And then a path over to the actual edge over here. Now these trees... We can at least harvest them, but for right now, they're not going to grow. Can we get a second harvester in there? Maybe. We'll place it right here for now. These will be going away at some point in time. Let's go ahead and denote these trees as harvest. Excellent. Now that they're harvested, I'm going to denote these to be harvested, and let's place an actual tree... Uh, what is it? An actual lumberjack flag over here. Now, for these berries, I'm thinking just something simple. Two flags over here. And that should suffice our actual need for, for food and for wood off the bat. Now, for water, this edge right here looks like a prime spot to place our first water pump. Spin it around. Yeah, that looks good. And what that will allow us to do is place an actual barrel right here for storage. Let's go ahead and connect those up with a road. And let's go over the UI real quick. I'm getting started and getting ahead of myself here. Up at the top, we have well-being, which just kind of goes over the needs of our, our, our beavers. Followed by science, materials, food, logs, and water. Our actual colonist, beavers in this case. And then down below we have our pointer. We have cut trees, plant crops, plant trees and bushes, demolish buildings and resources, assign priorities, paths and structures, landscaping, storage, labor, housing, water, food, wood, metal, power, Science, leisure, decorations, and monument. Now let's go ahead and speed up time a little so they can get started because getting some of this basic 
starter things is pretty necessity. Pretty high necessity. Let's find a storage. I'm thinking a logging pile. Let's go ahead and space it out just a little bit. We'll place it right there. Now, it is free to build. It just actually needs somebody to come and plop it down. Stores 180 logs. That'll be kind of our starting. From there, I'm thinking we place a campfire. Now, what the campfire itself does is on the ground only, can't be built on top of other structures, satisfies social life with up to five visitors at a time. So that will satisfy the actual need in our, in our needs. With this down, I think we're ready to to get an inventor so that we can get some actual technologies. That's going to be pretty crucial. Yeah, I think I want a storage here. So let's place two inventors there with the mindset of closing it off, I believe, like that. And then we can place houses this way. I think that should look good. Now, from there, we're going to need some food because this is not a lot of berries. And we should probably actually prioritize food a little bit higher. Let's go ahead and get our farmhouse. Ooh, our beavers are thirsty. So this tank couldn't have finished any quicker. Let's prioritize up our farmhouse as it's looking like the berries aren't going to last very long. For crops, we have carrots, potatoes, wheat, and it looks like... For carrots, they grow three carrots over four days, so it's going to take a little bit of time to get them started. We're going to uh, eat up a good chunk of this area as carrots. Might actually go one further as these berries start depleting. But we'll judge that as how quickly they actually fill this in. You know what? Let's, let's go ahead and queue that up right now to where they're going to fill all the area except for that two spots where the berries are. That should get us a good start. Now looking over here, this area looks like it would be a good spot to kind of quarantine off and make into a reservoir. Looks like that's kind of a good ground there. And this spot right here, as I said, we're going to need a dam of some sort. So let's go ahead and plot that out now that the trees in here are starting to actually get depleted. Let's keep that path coming. Yeah, once that tree goes down, we'll replace the path there. There we go. Now we can place a path over the top of it. We do have a few logs in stock. This is actually going to eat up a good deal of them. I'm thinking we go houses. Now there is a right and a left of the actual lodge as well as we do have double and triple down the road. But those require a bit of technology to unlock. Let's go ahead and place... As they hold three apiece and we have 11 homeless, let's go ahead and place four of them. And our town is starting to come together. We will need a storage. Let's go ahead and place that right there, kind of towards the future. Now when this builds, we're going to want to prioritize what it holds as there are things in there that we may not want. This is primarily going to be food, I'm believing. Ah, technology is starting to tick up. Let's plan on a road this way. Frost. And what we'll plan on is this area being a different type of farm when this farm is up and going. These trees are pretty well cleared out. We can mark these trees over here to be cleared once that, that bridge is completed. This area is pretty well cleared out. Yeah, it does get down that far. Looks like they can actually come up this staircase. We have a little bit of time before their, that whole area is cleared out. So it's good there. Look at that. You can actually see the water diverting around. So we'll take a look as the next one finishes. Supposedly the way the dam works is blocks water, but allows some to pass through the spillway at the top. 
That way you don't actually get it flooding onto the land. At least that's kind of the thought of what I'm reading. Excellent. That one's done. And again, it's pushing the water further over. This area is pretty big and open. I'm thinking at some point in time we're going to want to do something to, to back this water up. But we'll have to take a look later on. Looks like our crops have started. And we should plan for another water over here as these berries are starting to clear. Oh, we've got beavers sleeping on the ground. Yeah, we can we can prioritize the houses up a little bit. That's right, we have a priority button. I gotta tell you, that's a pretty neat function. I've played games without that, where you've got to click on everything and change the priority to actually have a button just to be like, yep, all of them change. That's pretty nice. Excellent. They're about to finish up actually planting. This area is still holding. We've got 102 uh, food in stock at the moment. Holding strong. Now looking down the road, it looks like a lot of things are locked behind tech. And I know that we're going to want... I think it's under landscaping. We're going to want levees relatively soon. And looking at our paths, we're going to want stairs and platforms relatively soon. We have you. Why? Why are you thirsty? Why are you thirsty? Go get water. There's plenty in that barrel. We do have a work hour, which is set to 16. We might lower that at some point in time. Or if we have a real struggle, we might increase that at some point in time. Hey, look at that. Our next section of dam is done, and just like that, the water is actually restricted. That's pretty cool. It looks like you can see the water actually slowing down and speeding up as it does so. This area is uh, still holding. This area is not quite ready. Looks like we're about halfway on our growth there. For our trees, as this area is becoming desolate... For the Forester, it requires 60 technology, which we have. Let's go ahead and unlock that. But it also looks like it requires the lumber mill to actually make the lumber to make that happen. Let's plan the lumber mill. Right up here, right behind the actual log spot. Let's get rid of this one lumberjack uh, flag as this area is starting to clear out. And hey, we have our goal of five. We've got comfort as well as we've got social fulfilled now. Getting a little bit closer. Let's go ahead and bring this up. And instead of a hamster wheel, we actually have a beaver wheel. So let's place that right there. And it looks like the, the wheel itself, taking a look at our power, supplies 50 horsepower. Those are pretty strong beavers. 50 horsepower. That's pretty crazy. And looking at our actual... A lumber mill it requires 50 horsepower as well now taking a look down the road it looks like some things like the gear workshop and paper mill require 120 and 80 respectively which means that this just won't cut it or it might mean that it runs at reduced capacity now these berries are starting to get Depleted, and I don't want to remove them all yet as I'm not ready to start planting my next crop. But what we can do is go ahead and get rid of the, the oddball ones right here so that we can extend our road out and fill in that last couple spots with farm. Yeah, look at that. We're at 84%. One more day and they'll be harvesting that. Excellent. Hey, our small warehouse is done. Now we're going to want this primarily to be food, in particularly carrots. So let's go ahead and unselect everything so that we can get a major supply over here. And what that will force is things like the planks. They can store up to a, uh, an actual capacity of 13. That will force them to store those instead of saving them inside of the, the actual warehouse. Now we are at our population, so let's place down two more houses. Let's grab the just regular lodge, and this should 
get us another six people. Now, we do have one kid, so that will will come up with an adult at some point in time. And I think we're ready to go ahead and close this off and extend this over. Kind of towards the future of putting something out to this edge so we can start putting a major dam over here to create a reservoir. As well as we will do something a little too far. We want it right here so that we can place... Got a little bit of technology. Now, do I want to unlock platforms first or levees first? Levees are a little bit more expensive, and I'm not ready for them to start building this. I was going to show you what it looked like, but I think I'm going to wait on that. I think for platforms, though, we can unlock that. Let's extend our road now, kind of to where we're going to want to bridge across. I think that's a, a good spot because in this area we're going to want another another water pump and probably another small water tank just to maintain enough water to actually maintain and hey I've got a glitch on my screen where it says log in the middle of it it's a little weird and we have reached level 6 for happiness which it looks like our first nutrition for bringing in carrots now have we brought in any logs and we have not we don't have enough people to employ it is what it looks like looks like we need one for the lumber mill one for the actual power wheel and we will plan for the forester itself to be down here next to the lumberjack and we will plan on again we're going to plan on this doesn't mean it's going to stay this way birch is nine days pine is uh 12 but it yields twice as much Maple is 24, but it, it yields eight times as much. So it's actually the best yield, but it takes the longest. I'm thinking for right now, let's queue up pine in this area. And then later on, we will, we will replace that with maple as wood becomes less of an issue. I just want something that grows a little bit quicker. Ooh, look at that. We've got some, some little beavers that were born. We had one that was grown up got a little bit of technology let's grab a decoration let's grab this bench so that we can start making our town look good i'm thinking we place it right here and then with i was gonna grab the the shrub you know what it's only 20 let's do it let's place the shrub right there that will get us some actual appeal in the area Look at the berries coming in. This area is starting to clear out. Everything is coming together. We've got a good amount of wood in our storage for the future. Now what to do next as we're kind of in that limbo period in any 4X game of this genre where you just have that low getting started. Yeah, I really want to Plan for the future here. Lax workers, lax construction uh, materials, and lax power. But we are at goal seven as we have aesthetics down. We're coming up on 100 science. And at 100, let's unlock platform so we can build our bridge across the water here. Ooh, and we just got our notification of our first drought. Now nah, we have to make a, a little bit of a, a change here. We need more water. So let's demo this area right here in order to get a water pump. I'm thinking right in there. So we'll give that a second to clear out and then we'll build that water pump. That way we have a little bit more storage going into the, to the drought itself. There we go, and with that, we will get another barrel over here. Yeah, let's place it right next to it. That actually looks good. Let's place a path in there. Now I'm thinking we should prioritize this. You guys, the front of the line, you go. Got a good deal of food going into the drought. We've got an okay amount of water. Not a ton, but an okay amount. We've got our 100 research. Let's go ahead and unlock platforms. 
And what we're going to do is go ahead and place a couple platforms across the way. And go ahead and close these off. For some reason, it, there it goes. I was going to say it didn't want to drop in there for some reason. So that we can place a path across. Then we can get a forester over here to get these trees. That should maintain us during the drought as these trees haven't quite started yet. And our planks, we don't have enough people to maintain them. Looks like we need one more for the, the power wheel and one more for that other pump. Now kind of taking a look at this for the future, I am thinking during times where there's not a drought, we're going to want a water wheel in here. And we might have room for two. Yeah, take a look at that. We're going to have room for two. Now, I want to pause this for the time being so that we don't actually build it. Let's queue up both of those. And then as we clear this area out, we keep that in mind that we're going to place another lumber mill over here with whatever's next on our actual build list. This area is pretty well set. Drought's about to begin. We've got our first actual lumber coming in. Hey, look at that. Our forester just got finished. Waiting on people. Again, still... We're, it looks like we're missing two more people, one for the water pump, one for the forester. But we have five children up and coming, and oh man, we've got... We need, we need more water as they're thirsty. Can we prioritize the actual worker over here? I'm not seeing that. Hey, our drought started, and look at that as the area just becomes unfertile. Now, I'm not sure how it will affect down here quite yet, but we'll take a look at that as the actual... As the drought progresses. Yeah, check that out. Some games have snow and cold. This game has the drought. Nice metal structure. You can tell it's a, a ruin from the past. It looks like we got a couple of them. Thankfully, our water is holding and keeping this area at least fertile. And it looks like our berries are in a good spot, and we have filled in. We have not filled in the forester. We have not filled up the water pump. Okay, so we just need some more people to become adult. So that's, that's a matter of time, and that filled in the water pump. Now we're just waiting on the forester. Ah, uh, this is full. Think food is in a place where we can look at. We have a lot of actual bridges to go here. But I think the food is in a place where we can look at placing down this farmhouse. So that we can start the progression of switching this over to potatoes. Let's uh, fill in these last couple carrot spots. Looks like carrots are maintaining pretty strong. Probably once we get in the the potatoes, they'll probably be even stronger. So we're going to keep the berries until we're pretty much ready. And what we'll do is do something like this, where everything that is already harvested, we start with the potatoes. And then we'll, as the potatoes are getting close, we'll start clearing out the rest. I think that's the best route to go. Looks like another one just became adult, and we've got some trees coming in. This area is finally getting cleared. I think the trees over here are outside the range, yeah. Now for our builders, it looks like they can get out to about here. Let's extend that road and see if it extends it a little bit further. Yeah, that extends it over. We'll have to do the same over here and... So anybody that doesn't know your district office employs builders and in order to build, they have to be within range. So this blue uh, area is the range that they can build. Now you can extend it with pathways and it will extend it quite a ways. 
Let's go ahead and show that by placing a road kind of up here. You know, the border was pretty much at this ledge before, and now it pushed it way up to there. We can go a little bit further than that, but that's probably about as sufficient as we need for this zone, as most of this area is pretty infertile, at least for the time being. Looks like a few more logs, and this will be done. It looks like we are short on food, which doesn't surprise me too much. Said kind of a small area for berries. But thankfully our carrots are getting close, which will be our second harvest of carrots. And our potatoes are started. Now that they're started, what we should do is go ahead and start taking out any berries that they are just harvesting. This way we can keep pushing the potatoes in. Yeah, I really think that this is the way to go. Then for potatoes themselves, I believe we need to grill them. Now, I am a fan of fried potatoes, and I've had grilled potatoes, so I gotta tell you, I'm liking their diet so far. Potatoes and carrots. Hey, we've cleared out a little bit. Let's go ahead and extend those potato fields. And let's prioritize this to potatoes itself. And hey, with that, the first drought is done. I think this is a good spot to call this episode as we're letting all of our forest build up. It's probably going to be a little bit of time for that to actually get going. We're waiting on our, our farms to get going. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining. If you like the video, please hit that like down below. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel where you'll see more survival content as well as more Timberborn. And leave a comment so I know what you guys like and want to see. And we'll see you in the next episode.